back and now we're looking at gold and as of this time my view on gold is yes it's still going to continue rising but it's straying rather far from uh, the moving average the momentum really started to drop so it's almost like it's kicking its last kick um, yeah it, it, if it if it does if it does try and reach the nineteen hundred again uh, maybe two thousand somehow then um that'll to me it'll be uh excuse me four o'clock in the morning this will be a divergence um divergence away from the two hundred MA already in a downtrend um it could possibly fall all the way down to rock 14, 1300s for gold if we're supposed to wait, find its way back up again so um again um it's the strengthening of the dollar against gold um specifically remember this is dollar against gold but so we just gold price it's dollar against gold so the the dollar strengthening against the gold and the gold price is gonna fall and that's what's happen that's what would be happening is if the dollar strengthening um you know people would be more taking taking money out and they're trying to leave it in cash not necessarily putting it into precious metals but um putting it into like just cash or bonds or t notes and so on but so my view is that gold is going to pull back it's not going to crash it's going to pull back to like 13 12 13 1400s um before it really starts to want to rally up again so it's going to be a weird market where um stock markets not doing well precious metals aren't necessarily doing well um you can see the yeah not necessarily doing well and then um T bonds and T bonds would do well. So let's let's combine this video with another. Let's go with a uh, senior feature. Right, well, do the senior feature. So this is this is the T note. This is the T note price. Right now, I don't know the five year. Um. And but you've got a tenure. And what we can see for the tenure is that what we can see from the tenure is that it's reached arguably a point of resistance. Right. It's reached arguably a point of resistance. Um I'm expecting it to essentially dance around here the seventy four while it's losing momentum and then I'm slowly going to gain more momentum as the tenure treasury notes right now right now I think they're too cheap that's really what's going to be happening a lot of people are going to put them start putting their money into this a small sum of money is already started putting their money into this now you are going to have the slower people slowly trying to put more and more of their money in to the T-notes as the stock market crashes for a while I mean, they're gonna make money off of this for a T note for a while. A while could be, I don't know, I wanna say like a year plus. I want to say a year plus. Yeah, I wanna say a year plus. So it's not just gonna be, it's not gonna be a flash crash, it'll be a long crash. Again, that's just an opinion. So. As I said, um, we, we can expect that in terms of consolidation, and then I move upwards, um, as as and as the treasure, and as the move upwards begins, um, the stock market also starts to rally. The reason stock market's going to start to rally is because, as you now as it increases, more more people are going to think, um, it's getting a bit expensive. I might as well make it. I'll make more money in stock market so again it becomes money rotation and the money gets 
moves from essentially treasury bonds back into the stocks but at a slower pace. US 100 reached again, also reached its peak after this should give you a clue. Besides the fact that you're starting to run out of momentum, um, which you can it's okay if a dude runs out of. I'm not about to run out of momentum. I'm tired. So it's going to run out of momentum and it's going to fall. And as it falls, that's where I pull back because now I said that there was something different about the SP 500 and the 500. The SP 500 and the NASDAQ 100. And the fundamental difference is this. If you look in the back knee, you're not going to find it in the negative. Right? Because it's it's the stock market that has to continue going up. So, what can happen is the stock market or that index can fall to around 652. Um, you know, the resistance of the MACD theoretically or the um, momentum of the of the 200 moving average if that's what they have that becomes to move um, and then if it touches chance it'll touch and then we'll want to start moving back up if the if the, if the mother and has already come through um sorry about that I blacked out <laughs> so this will this may have a drop. Will drop down. If it touches, it might want to move back up. And if it doesn't, it'll be like a pullback before it wants to move back up. But we want, but we'd like to see this dropping, so that we can it can drop low, so we can see more more momentum. That's really what our aim is. And then we look at the S and P 500, which is going to be similar to the Nasdaq 100. So I'm not going to repeat the same thing. But it's essentially the same thing. You're looking at it. And then last one. If you're looking at the currencies, all of these currencies have on a monthly chart a long term dollar based um dollar based um strength setups. We have dollar based strength setups. So again, this isn't going to be today's trade. They're going to be the hourly trade. This is going to be the type of trade that you hold for like a year or two, and that's really what that's really what you're looking at. I know again, it's not it's not sexy, but um, there's nothing more painful than going. I wish I'd figured that out way back. No, so yeah, man. I mean, if you look at the USD and a monthly. Um, to me, it's just the beginning of a downtrend, and so you really just wanna see if you, uh, see if you'll be able to make any money off of it. Anyway, so that's that's just that. Um, hopefully that that made more sense as well. Um, this has been posted on Patreon first, and then it's gonna go to onto YouTube Patreon in February, and then YouTube until March or April. Cheers.